Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to what I think is going to be a great tutorial. Thanks to this guy above, he requested me to do a tutorial on how to find great domain names. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find the perfect domain name, no matter what the subject. I'm going to go over all the tools you need. Don't worry, they're all 100% free. I'm going to show you how to use the Google Keyword Tool to be able to find these good keywords that you're then going to use in your domain name. I'm going to show you how to double check Google's results to make sure that they are accurate. Then I'm going to show you how to check to see that the name's not already taken and a bunch of other useful tricks here at the end. First, the tools that you will need. You'll need Google, you'll need the Google AdWords Keyword Tool, and you'll need, or at least I use, the GoDaddy Domain Name Search Tool. And don't worry, I'll give you the location of the Google AdWords Keyword Tool here in a minute. Then you have to make a decision on what your site is going to be about. And I leave it to you to be either as vague or as specific as you want to be. You just want to make sure that this is a website you're going to be able to continue to use. Then you just go to Google and enter those keyword phrases because you want to know who currently ranks on the first page for all of these phrases. Then you want to write down all of those sites. And in my situation or my example here, I'm going to specifically try to find domain names that are specific to celebrity gossip, being that this is a topic that's very hot on the internet. And if I type in celebrity and gossip and celebrity gossip and a whole bunch of other different things, these are the websites that pop up multiple times. And you can see here is an example of how important a domain name is. Just simply by putting celebrity-gossip, this person here is ranked number one on Google, just purely based off the domain names. As you can see, there are many big hitters here on the screen. I'm going to go in and I'm going to look at what keywords they're using to drive traffic. How I do that is I use the Google's Keyword Tool. You can see it here. It's adwords.google.com. Select Keyword Tool External, and you can go ahead and pause the screen if you want to write that down. Otherwise, I also have a link to it along with all the other tools in the underbar. And what this guy does is it provides the best keyword phrases based off of either websites that you enter or keyword phrases that you enter. And automatically will go in, look at what you entered, and then try to find better keywords and keyword phrases based off that information. Or if you put a website in, it's going to show you the best keyword phrases for that specific website. It's also going to show you how much competition a phrase has, and that's extremely important. You do not want to go after very competitive keyword phrases. And it's going to show you approximately how many times that keyword phrase is searched for every month. And I want to underline approximately here. And here is the Google Keywords tool here on your screen. And I'm specifically going to go after the Press Hilton website here. And this is always what I do. I go after the websites first and then the keywords afterwards. So you just type in the website you want to get more information on. Type in the CAPTCHA phrase and hit search. Now it's going to go over there and it's going to pull up all this information here on your screen. All right, so here you're going to see all of the keyword phrases that it pulled up. Here is going to be the competition area. Remember you want to look for competition that is very low. This is extremely low. And then you also want to look at the overall global monthly searches. I don't pay any attention to local. I only pay attention to global. Now, if you click on competition, it's going to show you the highest, most competitive keyword phrase. But you do not want this, absolutely, because it's way too competitive, especially based off of the number of small searches that it has here. So instead, what we want to do is we want to look for some top searches that have no competition. Now, if you wanted to do a website about Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, you could definitely go after these keyword phrases. However, I want to go for some better ones. So let's look down here. We have 90,500 searches, gossip in Hollywood. So you want to write this down. See, low competition, high keyword phrases. See, low competition, high number of monthly searches. So you want to write this down, and you want to write down gossip from Hollywood, and Hollywood and gossip, and as many of these other phrases that sort of match up with what you are overall looking for to do with your website. Now you want to do that for every website that ranked well. Remember, I clicked on global monthly searches, and then I'm looking for low competition. So I started off with Perez Hilton. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the same thing with all the other websites that ranked on the first page. And after I do that, I'm going to end up with my main keyword phrases from all of those different websites. Now, I don't always 
trust Google's keyword tool. So I want to go in and make sure that my matches are actually good. So what I did was I went in and I typed in gossip in Hollywood and it came back with 37,200,000 hits for this phrase. Now if you want to see how many times this phrase is used on websites exactly, all you do is surround it with quotes. See, you can see that there is a large interest in this keyword phrase. However, this specific phrase is only used 11,400 times. Believe me, this number is very small for a keyword phrase that is this powerful. And I'll show you specifically how I did this. So I'm going to jump over to Google and I'm going to type in gossip in Hollywood. And you can see here that it came back with 39,300,000. This number constantly changes, but it's roughly the same every time. Well, what I want to do, this is the total matches, meaning that they, these words exist together on a page. However, they don't actually exist in this exact format. To see how many websites actually use this phrase exactly, you want to surround it with quotes and hit enter. And you can see 11,500 pops back here on the screen. So this is a great keyword phrase. So that's where these numbers come from. So then after I have this master list all put together, I want to go through and I want to look at which of these are the best. And I've pretty much decided that I like this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. These are all good keyword phrases that I'd love to be able to, to own. So then what I do is figure out how many of them are owned. Guess what? Only one of them. Gossipinhollywood.com is the only keyword phrase that is taken. That means, unless everyone's already bought these other keyword phrases, this phrase right here is available. Hollywood and Gossip are available. Celebritiesandgossip.com. These are all .coms that I'm looking for. I'd never buy anything but a .com. And RumorsCelebrity.com are all keyword phrases that people are going to be looking for. So there are four absolutely fabulous domain names based off of Celebrity Gossip. But again, you can do this with anything else. On top of that, also there's a link in the underbar to this. I point out all of the different words that Google disregards. Now it doesn't completely disregard these words. It just weights them differently. It doesn't consider them quite as important. These are the types of words that you would want to use. Now of course you wouldn't want to use accordingly because it's very, very long. But if you would use these in a domain name, such as Gossip in Hollywood, you would be able to more than likely capture that keyword phrase just based off of the fact that these words are not weighted as equally as normal words. Then on top of that, I put together the most popular search words, and if you ever thought Paris Hilton was stupid, you would be wrong, and this is proof. You can see these are the most popular, most common words that are typed into Google on a regular basis, and you can see here that almost every single one of these words are nonsense, conjunction words, whatever, connection words, right up until the point where you get to hot. It ends up that hot is the most commonly searched for phrase on Google, that is not an adjective or a conjunction. So I hope that helps you find really good domain names. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. And if you have a special tutorial that you'd like me to do, post that in the comments or email it to me. Otherwise, till next time.